Hi, you are loved. I am Kim. I have ordered a thing because I have been struggling a bit with keeping everything going with my current C GPU because it's a GTX 970 from the first computer that was built for me by my brother and I was kind of there around as a birthday gift from my dad. I've been using a nine, GTX 970 ever since, even when building a new PC in like early 2020. Cause, um, well, things kind of happened with GPU prices, but now they've come down a bit. I was waiting for the new R RX 7900 XDX from AMD. Turns out it's also expensive. Well, it's around 1200 euro. Uh, I have a 1440p 144hz monitor, so I can do that much gaming. This is kind of a transitional period, but also I wanted to be able to play uh, Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order and stream them. So I knew I needed a bit more juice, and my GTX 970 was really struggling. I was able to get a Radeon RX 6700 from last gen. It, it was 400 euro, and I mean that's less than the MSRP, and I think it'll be fine for a time until there's some either 7000 series for a fraction of its MSRP or a new whatever the next one is probably RX 8000 series. I did consider NVIDIA of course but they are so much more expensive currently especially in Europe the last gen stuff even and the new ones are very very expensive. If they get their shit together for the 5000 series then I might consider them uh, or if not I hope NVIDIA and uh, AMD doesn't lost their shit as bad as they lost this time. So this is the first GPU I've bought my, by myself, ever. I was actually considering between this and the Intel Arc A750, but that was like 60 euros less than this RX 6700. It might be better, I mean it is obviously better at AV1 encoding, this doesn't have that engine at all, a media engine that can handle that. I was considering it, but then it's not close enough to justify that price. I could have also had the 6700 XT for 444 euros and 44 cents, but looking at reviews, it seems to be about 10% more performant than the 6700 in a lot of cases, and it's a little, it's like 11% more money. And I kind of want this more as a transitional piece until there's something priced well enough for more performant cards. This also uses just one 8-pin power connector. The 6700 XT uses two of them. I think it looks nice and definitely nicer than the... I think it would have been an ASRock model that they had of the 6700 XT for, for 44 44. But I prefer this look. It looks nicer to me. Any of the lower models of this uh, would also be only confined to PCIe 4.0 by 8 and because my current motherboard does not support PCIe 4.0 uh, it's imperative that anything running in PCIe 3.0 is by 16 because that still performs about the same to PCIe 4.0 by 16 so that was one reason to not go lower than this, the 6650 XT I think already it uses only 8 lanes. It has 3 DisplayPort 1.4 ports and an 8 HDMI 2.1 because that doesn't necessarily mean much these days.
I'm just admiring this. I think it looks cool. The back plates looks nice and the fans even look nice. This is the first ever new GPU I've bought. I've never even bought used GPUs. I've got some gifted to me. Uh, GTX 660 and GTX 750 Ti from some old systems. Thank you for watching. I'm excited to get to play around with this. I think it looks dope. I think it looks lovely and I might do some testing follow-up video to this and try it out. Uh, I might even open it at some point. It's not immediately on my bucket list, but I want to open up GPUs. I might open some older GPUs though first, just to have fun with them. It's 9 p.m. so I have still time today before having to go to sleep. I, I'm, I'm going to play with this tonight yet. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. You are loved. <laughs> and let's spread some love.